4,900 feet under the Pacific Ocean, one of the Pacific Northwest's most active underwater volcanoes. volcanic activity all up and down the ridge, and that's where new seafloor is created by eruption. Off the wild, windswept coast of Oregon, where the endless Pacific heaves and sighs against basalt cliffs, a mystery brews unseen by most eyes. Deep beneath tumbling surf and the pale shimmer of stormy skies, a restless landscape, carved by time, molded by pressure, has begun to stir. Down in the perpetual twilight, 300 miles from the nearest dock and more than a mile below the surface, one of America's most enigmatic volcanoes stirs itself after years of quiet. Axial Seamount, a shadowy titan on the ocean floor, is waking up. In 2025, the scientific world was alerted by underwater sensor data and remote monitoring, lighting up with signals from this usually quiet volcano. For decades, Axial seemed mostly quiescent, a giant sleeping in the dark, murmuring now and then, its heat dissolving into the blackness of the abyss. But quietly, the rhythms have changed, tremors multiply, the seabed rises in slow, persistent swells, sensors flicker with pressure changes, and subtle releases of volcanic gases, betraying subterranean movement. A year ago, Axial Seamount seemed to be taking a nap slumbering behind a veil of seawater, visible only to vigilant instruments and the rare deep sea submersible. Yet in the opening months of 2025, Oregon State University researchers and international volcanologists have sounded a new warning. This is no longer only a time for hushed observation. Axial is likely to erupt before the end of 2025, cautioned a lead scientist echoing the consensus emerging from years of research and monitoring. The implications are enormous and the questions urgent. What secrets lie hidden in this awakening? What can Axial's rumblings teach us about the restless heart of the Pacific Northwest and the deep volcanic machinery that shapes not just the ocean's floor, but the very destiny of the American coastline? The hidden monument, Axial Seamount revealed down where sunlight dims to velvet blue and fish glide like phantoms through pillared forests of ancient lava, the axial seamount sprawls, a bruised, battered plateau of rock as wide as a city, its summit crowned by a gigantic caldera. By every measure, it is a monument to eons of volcanic unrest. But unlike iconic mountains, Rainier, Hood, Shasta, axial lives out its drama in secret shrouded by oceans heavier and darker than any landbound cloud. Stretching over a network of fissures and cones, the Seamount's caldera looms as a broad, sunken oval, the center of volcanic activity off Oregon's coast. It is not merely a mound, but the record of countless eruptions, each flow layering new basalt over older rock. The ocean here is a relentless sculptor, eroding and rebuilding generating a world where nothing stays untouched for long. Yet it is the hiddenness of Axial that fascinates, viewed only in echoes and bands of shadow, mapped by sonar and the reflections of scientific instruments. The volcano stands as a realm out of time. Teams of researchers using submersible drones and precision mapping instruments have returned year after year to measure every change. Satellite-linked buoys float above on turbulent seas, relaying signals the instant the Earth shakes beneath. Onshore, these signals turn into lines and graphs, transforming the blank, infinite blue into a world of texture and threat. A caldera two and a half miles wide, lava flows frozen in twisted sculptures, hydrothermal chimneys spewing mineral-laden clouds. What seethes inside these rocks? How can a landscape submerged in silence announce its restless heart to the world above? The answer lies in a network of instruments, tilt meters, pressure sensors, hydrophones, 
and deep ocean seismographs, all anchored by the Ocean Observatory's Initiative and U.S. Geological Survey. These tools reveal patterns invisible to the human eye, slow inflation of the seafloor, subtle shifts in chemistry around vent fields, clusters of microquakes that trace the creeping movement of magma. In early 2025, a fresh cluster of seismic swarms and uplift signals began to intensify. Axial, it seemed, was stirring again. But eruptions here do not explode into chaos. Instead, they rise through cracks in the crust, releasing lava in broad, slow-moving sheets. The enormous weight of the ocean above, more than 3,000 psi at Axial Summit, suppresses violent gas expansion. Instead of fire and ash, Axial gives us glowing rivers of basalt, quietly forming new seafloor. During the last major eruption in 2015, instruments caught the entire event in detail. Pressure changes in the caldera were observed in real time. The seafloor dropped by over two meters, clear evidence of magma withdrawal. A forecast from the deep, science on the edge. In the rarefied world of volcanology, Predicting an eruption days in advance is a hard-won feat. Weeks is near miraculous, yet as the calendar turned to 2025, scientists announced something nearly unprecedented for an underwater volcano. Axial is waking up, and we think it's likely to erupt before the end of 2025, explained Bill Chadwick, Oregon State University's seasoned watcher of the sea. This confidence is no accident. Year after year, Sensors have measured every pulse and jolt, seismic stations listening for submarine quakes, pressure moorings monitoring with relentless patience. Now, the undersea landscape has come alive on displays fed by real-time data. Hundreds, then thousands of tiny earthquakes, a swarm in scientific term, tremble along hidden dikes and fissures. Each tiny quake is a signal, magma under pressure, seeking passage upward. Pressure is another harbinger. Over months, the seafloor directly above the volcanic core rises, centimeters accumulating into measurable inflation, tracked with extraordinary precision. Sometimes, such swelling has been prelude to eruptions, lessons learned from Axial itself during previous events. The power of remote sensors and satellite imagery brings new clarity. In years past, Eruptions here happened suddenly and without outside warning. Their scars found only in measurements of landscape after the fact. Now, in 2025, the data is pointing to a clear and repeating pattern. Eruptions at Axial are not random, but tend to occur in a cycle every 8 to 14 years. The volcano's clockwork is an ongoing subject of study. A symphony of tremors, the coming eruption. When Axial awakens, it does not rouse in silence. Across the battered hills and rising flanks of its volcanic edifice, the stirring is energetic. During past eruptions, seismic networks have recorded up to 10,000 earthquakes in a single day, a dramatic burst of fractures as magma surges upward, seeking release. This is not the violence of a solitary explosion, but a rising crescendo a gathering of energy, a stretching of boundaries, until, in a brief span, molten rock breaks free. Underwater, the eruption is veiled, but its consequences ripple outward. Plumes of ash and superheated water burst forth, turning the deep blue murky and chaotic, while fresh lava oozes from fissures, building new pillows and domes. The intensity is extraordinary. Hydrothermal vents roar. Clouds of mineral-rich fluid surge upward, sometimes visible from research ship sensors as shimmering patches or changes in water chemistry. The eruption covers the old cracked basalt with new lava, reshaping Axial's caldera rim in hours, reflecting processes that take decades or centuries in other geologic settings. Meanwhile, remote sensors track the story in real time. Instruments can detect subtle temperature spikes, chemical anomalies, and pressure changes that mark the path and impact of the eruption. Scientists crowd around screens, charting the unfolding event. Each new update, a stroke in a drama both ancient and new. Yet for all its grandeur, 
The eruption remains hidden from direct human senses. The Pacific muffles sound. Shock waves dissipate in silt and brine. No human eye will see the molten rock breach the seafloor in real time. But the Earth is not completely silent. Data links carry news of every tremor and plume. In 2025, we await a routine but awe-inspiring event, an eruption marking another cycle in the restless geology of the deep. Tectonic context. The Pacific Northwest's fiery core. Axial Seamount is not an island alone. Its heritage is written in the shifting bones of the planet, a relic of eternal conflict where continental and oceanic plates jostle and separate. The geology of the Pacific Northwest is sculpted as much by what happens beneath the tides as by the dramatic silhouettes of the Cascade Range. Here, on the Juan de Fuca Ridge, the boundary is active and raw, a place where the Earth's crust spreads and new ocean floor is created. Beneath Oregon's waves, new crust is created ceaselessly. The axial seamount perched along this submarine rift draws both its power and its instability from deep within the Earth. Periodic eruptions are not accidents, but the natural product of tectonic processes. Over time, pressure builds, magma ascends, the seafloor splits, then lava cools and hardens, locking in minerals and hydrothermal chemistry with each event. A laboratory in the abyss. Technology, discovery, and mystery. In the age of satellites and seafloor observatories, axial seamount has become more than a natural hazard. It is a living, shifting laboratory for the science of the deep. Decades of research have forged a network of sensors across its slopes, pressure gauges, chemical analyzers, vibration monitors, robotic samplers, all working in harmony to catch the faintest hints of change. As vast amounts of data flow in, the volcano has become a case study in Earth monitoring. Drones and submersibles sample the water for signs of volcanic gases, sulfur, carbon dioxide, and other chemicals that signal magma's ascent. Each data point refines scientists' understanding, rendering the abyss less unknown than ever before. For the scientists who study these waters, each data stream is both a comfort and a puzzle. Time-lapse maps build a seafloor history measured in months, showing inflation and deflation as magma chambers fill and empty. Thermal measurements track heat flow changes at new vents, chronicling underground fire becoming surface formation. The human edge, coastlines, communities, and consequence. Generations have lived along the Oregon coast, unaware of the titans that stir far offshore, hidden in submarine calderas. But in 2025, knowledge pierces the ocean's veil and asks new questions of safety and stewardship. If axial seamount erupts, as researchers expect it will, what might it mean for life on land? For the coast itself, the hazards are indirect. Most underwater eruptions pose little immediate threat to those ashore. Lava cools quickly beneath the waves, and tsunamis produced by axial eruptions are extremely rare and generally minor. Yet side effects ripple outward. Shifting plumes of heat and minerals alter local ecosystems, spurring new life in thermal fields, while affecting ocean chemistry in ways that subtly influence fisheries and marine resources. Scientists have observed up to 10,000 earthquakes in a single day during axial eruptions, deep beneath the surface, yet a striking reminder that the margin of North America remains alive with energy. On rare occasions, Significant hydrothermal plumes have been detected by surface vessels or satellites as changes in water chemistry or temperature. For researchers, this is both a challenge and an opportunity. Axial is one of the few volcanoes on Earth whose eruptions have been repeatedly forecast with months or years of warning, offering an unprecedented natural laboratory for the next generation of Earth scientists. Patterns Among Giants, The Repeating Riddle Unlike most volcanoes on land or sea, axial seamount appears to follow a semi-regular cycle. Since the late 20th century, eruptions have recurred every 8 to 14 years, a striking pattern 
in a realm better known for chaos than predictability. Each cycle brings ground swelling, quake swarms, hydrothermal changes, and then the bright flare of fresh lava flows. In 2025, as sensors everywhere flicker to life, scientists pore over data with fascination. Each surge in seismic activity or swelling of the seafloor is measured and modeled. The countdown is no longer hours or days, but probabilities and confidence intervals, a rhythm set deep within the earth. Yet, predictability does not mean simplicity. Every eruption is different. Sometimes lava flows broadly. Other times it travels through fissures or tubes, forming pillow lavas and reshaping the caldera in unique ways. Some eruptions are explosive, others comparatively gentle. Each event etches historic changes onto the seamount to be revealed by future explorers. Reshaping the shoreline, the broader Pacific Northwest. The story of Axial Seamount reaches beyond the blue expanse offshore. Its effects are woven into the entire region's geology. As new rock forms on the seabed, geologists look inland to the chain of cascade volcanoes and the complex network of faults and magma systems that define the Pacific Northwest. Direct effects of axials eruptions seldom reach beyond the ocean, but the processes at play there, creation, destruction, renewal, are mirrored in the region's broader landscape. Volcanism, hydrothermal activity, and tectonic activity combine to shape not just the ocean floor, but the coastlines and ecosystems above. Oregon's coast appears serene, tide pools among basalt, dense forests meeting rocky headlands, fog rolling in with the certainty of the tide. But each new eruption and tremor at Axial is a reminder. The edge of the continent is dynamic, shifting, and alive. Between fire and water, the enduring unknown. Can the full story of Axial Seamount's awakening be captured in graphs and satellite images? Or does the deeper mystery remain locked far from our instruments in the interplay of forces we can witness but only partly understand? Each answer seems to birth new questions. Each apparent certainty is checked by the Earth's persistent capacity to surprise and humble those who watch from afar. Seismic swarms will come, perhaps 10,000 quakes in a day, each one a note in the Seamount's awakening. Plumes will surge, and new features will settle on maps that, last year, marked only unbroken sea. Scientists will gather, deciphering the flickers of color on screens, wondering how much more the planet may be willing to reveal. When the eruption comes, expected, but never quite certain, the boundary will shift, not just beneath the waves, but in the minds of those who study Earth's processes. Our humility in confronting the powers that shape the western edge of the continent Axial Seamount's awakening is not merely an event, it is a recurring reminder, a pulse from the unseen world, echoing through scientific curiosity and the subtle shifts that bind past to the perpetual future. In these moments before the eruption, we are left only to listen to the sensors, to the signals, and, ever so faintly, to the heartbeat of Axial Seamount itself. Stay curious, remain vigilant, the unseen heart of Oregon's volcanic frontier beats louder now. Somewhere in the depths, the story continues, written every day beneath the waves, always just out of sight, yet never out of reach. The future waits patiently to be revealed.